Once again, welcome to Agile Tech. This channel is dedicated to teaching young programmers how to program from scratch, step by step. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to build a simple but unique calculator using Python. So we're going to allow the user to enter two numbers. Once the user enter the first number, select operator, and then enter the second number, then the user is going to get the result based on the operator the user selected. So let's say we want the two numbers. So let's create a variable to store that number. So let's say the first number is num1. Num1. So num1, we want to accept the input. We want the user to select a number or enter a number of his or her choice. We say the input keyword. This will allow the user to enter any number. So let's say, let's prompt the user. Let's say enter your first number this way. And then after the user entered enters the first number the user would then also select operator so let's also ask the user to enter operator so let's also also request for an input and let's say enter operator i believe my spelling is right yeah then after the operator the user can now enter the second number so let's say the second number is num2 so let's assign this input so we are prompting the user to enter something. So the second number, let's say enter your second number this way. Okay, I think this is okay now. Now we are going to compare based on our if statement. We are going to make decision. So let's say if if the operator now, which is operator, I want to do comparison. Let's say if the operator if the operator is let's say plus then it should do something so if the operator is is a plus so let's say it should print what it should print num1 plus num2 so you can see what we are doing and then what else are we going to do so let's see elif I'm going to use this keyword elif elif if the operator is subtraction we want to use the minus keyword then what should you do we should subtract the first number from the second number okay and then we'll go ahead and then do it for the rest of the operators that we want to use so elif elif so we can see if the operator is equal to multiplication remember this is supposed to be in quotation if operator is equal to this then sorry then you have to print you have to multiply the two numbers so num1 times what num2 and then let's also include division elif if op is called to so division we use division this way and we have to go by saying num1 divided by num what two so what about if the user selects a different operator what then happens so let's say else else you should do something else let's say print invalid operator as simple as that so let's run this code and i believe everything to be should be working for us if i run this code let's see i entered six and then it's requesting for operator let's see i enter what a plus and then i enter my second number seven so i should be expecting 13 right okay so look at what is happening now i'm trying to add these two numbers and then it just converted this and this for me it just brought the two numbers together giving me what six seven so these numbers were regarded as to be a string. So how then do we know that the number the user entered is going to be an integer? We have to do that over here. 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and then convert the entire input from the user to an integer. So the input I'm going to set from the user will be what an integer. Other than that, it will just regard everything as a string and then join them together. So if I try ra running this code, let me go with a simple it's a seven and then six. I should be getting 13 so my code is now working smoothly okay i'm also having a challenge over here if i should enter a decimal number i should be getting error but i want us to try for the rest and see so i'm running this code again and see if this calculator is going to work smoothly okay even before that let me just try and then select an operator which is not listed among our operators so let me see 89 and then operator i'm going to select will be let me just select let me select just any operator mm. so this is not part of our operators and then i enter some so i should be getting what invalid invalid operator okay so this error has been printed for us or so this is not part of our option so this is an invalid operator so i'm going to get this let's try for the rest and see so i'm going to go ahead and see six times Let's say it so everything is working smoothly for us up to this stage let's try division so let's say 64 divided by 64 divided by uh, let's say 8 and it's given as what 4.8 8.0 let's try our last one and let's try the last one okay so we are now going to try the uh, subtraction and see what is going to happen so this minus seven so i should be getting something around 60 right okay so this is working perfectly up to this stage 